All right, guys, so this is one of our breeder girls here, uh, one of our experiments, I guess you can call it. Um, she's been with us for quite some time. She's, uh, we, we bought her as a RFN, or really freaking neat spider. Um, we saw some potential in her, and, you know, the RFN was just an abbreviation, no, nothing to it, um, just to indicate that she was a little bit more than your average spider. Uh, judging by her head pattern, we thought that there was something more. Um, several people have told me, She's got a very enchy look to her. Uh, previous breedings, we have seen her babies come out almost fire-like. So we would be really interested in seeing what the fire, um, see if that fire gene comes through again. Um, fire or not, uh, this year, if we see anything of the high-intensity coloration, um, we're definitely going to have to take her back to uh, a bell complex, and we're going to have to take her to a fire complex uh, just to see what it is uh, definitively or at least know what complex she's of um, you know you can have something like a, a, f a fire or it could be um, you know Russo something something similar that's going to throw similar colored babies and until you make the super you just don't know what it is so we're hoping that it is fire uh, Enchi and spider that is in this animal. We hope we pinned it down. I bred her to the chocolate asphalt that's been doing a lot of the breedings around here. As you can tell, she doesn't really have a yellow belly. Belly. Um, I wouldn't pin this animal to have yellow belly. I know other people said the same deal. Uh, she doesn't look like a yellow belly. Uh, so we, we made the assumption that anything that comes out of her is going to be indeed an asphalt. Um, you know, but we're going to have to we're going to have to circle back to that once we see what the results of this clutch are um so yeah so let's get let's get to the cutting and see what we end up getting and we're back so we'll start off with the the egg that was a rollout um i incubate all my rollouts there's some people out there who always question if they should or shouldn't my advice always do this big cut for you guys See what's in this egg. All right, so that that almost looks like mom, don't it? Hard to see. Got it. Yeah. So that's definitely a spider combination. Um, the reason we're cutting, I'd let the last clutch come out on its own. Um, I really wanted to cut this one. The eggs are due. Um, after that first one they may be a little might not be as far along as I thought. My records say that they're turning to day 60. There you go. There's another spider combo. Um, I don't know how good the lighting is. You go with lighting? You need me to move the lighting over? That's alright. So that's another spider combo looking really sweet in there. Uh, the asphalt gene, of course, we'll be able to see with a belly, um, just with us seeing these heads, not really, um, not really going to do it for us on this. Like I said, we believe this to be a, uh, to be a fire spider. Oh, there you go, look at that belly. See the belly shot there, almost clear. Hmm. That almost just looks like, like a fire. Anyway, the reason we're cutting these guys, um, aside from being time up, we've got a few of these with these little portholes on the side. I noticed one was starting to gain some rot. Um, just want to make sure everybody's okay. It's like a normal, maybe an asphalt. I don't know, I see some flames coming up the sides. This is a pretty big clutch for us. It's eight eggs. Uh, most of the time the girls we have here are laying five and five to seven. Um, I don't know if that's an asphalt or not. I don't think it is. Might just be a normal. A 
Whoa there. Dude's got... Look at his eye, dude. Yeah, we're getting it. Looks like a cap on it. Looks like some kind of shed cap on it. But this is a crazy pattern in here. Almost looks like a leopard. See it? He's still alive. Okay, we got movement. This is the one I'm really worried about. See the fungus growing on the bottom? Eggs starting to really rot. It's not as well along as these other ones here. Maybe I should have just cut that one and let these other ones go. Oh well. I mean, these eggs are ready. But. There's a spider. So you can see the color difference between the spider and, and whatever that other gene is that we think is fire. Um, clearly bleeding through. That's a normal spider, no doubt about it, versus that's the, versus something like this. You can eat on it. You can totally see there's something something else at play. At first, that rollout one was also really light. Almost, almost looks like a bumblebee in there. Hmm. And then this last one's the one that, like I said, I was most concerned about. Film that was going to happen. Whoa, that's the coolest one yet. What in the heck? Look at that thing, dude. That's the back there. Is that a freeway? No, come on now. You're moving it out of camera. Look at that thing, dude. Come on now, why'd you gotta throw me a curveball like that? Is it still alive? Like I said, I'm really worried about this guy because of that rot. And that is one cool looking animal in there. Definitely got spider in it. All right, we'll jump over to what's a few seconds for you, which is gonna be a few days for us. See you over there. All right, guys. So as you can see, uh, I won't mix any words. Um, we found out my incubator had a problem. Uh, the ones that Troy was thinking were dead were indeed dead. We lost half the clutch to an incubator problem. Um, we believe that's what it was. The incubator was a few degrees cooler than it should have been. Uh, but here's what we got, and it's a pretty, pretty cool little clutch. Um, Mom, we still believe that she's got Enchi and fire in her. Uh, this guy who's coming at me aggressively is actually the chocolate uh, asphalt. Yes, he just bit me right there, and he's going to get me again. Alright, so this guy right here is a chocolate asphalt. You see his belly? Totally getting bit again. This is like, this is ridiculous. Alright. This guy is just a straight up fire. Um, and then this one over here is going to end up being a chocolate. Whether or not it's got inchy or not, we can't really tell. Um, but then this one is really cool. Um, I'm going to pull her. So he said this one was a fire. I think he meant a spider. We'll, we'll let him go on that one. That one's a spider, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the fire is the one I was really interested in. I'm going to get struck all the way up here anyway by this clown. All right, so as you can see, the cool belly on this one. Uh, definitely fire. Uh, asphalt's pulling through hard. Um, then the banding pattern on the side. I'm not convinced if this is an inchy or not. Uh, it's a little too much pattern in my opinion. But it very well could be an inchy asphalt. Uh, fire. It's a cool little animal. I really like it. Woo! Man, that thing's still going at me. Damn. This ain't no JKR film, I guess. They all are well behaved for him. 
so anyway, so yeah, so that's what, um, that's this little cool animal. Um, I want to give you guys a sneak peek of one other clutch while we're here. Uh, Troy, you can, I guess, stay zoomed in on them for now. This guy literally just hatched. Got him. Uh -huh. It's a male. This was a product of the pastel blackhead het pied to a clown het pied. Uh, so this boy here is a pastel blackhead pied het clown. Fresh out the egg. Ridiculously cool. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's like so typical blackhead, and then it just fades out because of the pastel. Um, interesting on this animal, I will give him his, his appropriate time to shine. Let's just leave that one, that's fine, just leave it. We'll give him his appropriate time to shine later. Um, but this boy, um, is definitely going to be a centerpiece here in the collection. Um, as you, if you guys are familiar with the blackhead pie stuff I've produced, it's usually high pattern, low white. Uh, the pastel completely flipped that. Pastel or the clown, one of the two flipped that. So we've got a scenario here where we've got a very high white pied with a low pattern. But anyway, this boy is awesome. I just want to give you guys a little sneak peek. And uh, when this clutch finishes hatching out, that'll be the next video. Till then, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe.